and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson here. They've turned on the weather here in Adelaide. Providing special comments for today's game is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Otto. Should be a great game today. Here today, the clash between Port Adelaide and Western Bulldogs. of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. Western Bulldog wins the toss. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. Crowd are ready, and we're underway. One down. With the ball is McLean. What a tackle! Showing some really good pressure there. A chance to put one through here for Adelaide. Archie, right on the edge of his range. He goes it alone. Michael paid. May puts it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. Taken well at ground level by Martin. Sicily brings it out of the pack. Doesn't take the mark. Applies a bump. Cox just threw it. Moved on by Daw. Ends up marking uncontested. Ryan creates all sorts of problems for his opponent. Great tackling technique. Wins possession. He goes for broke. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. He celebrates hard after that. Port Adelaide gets the first goal on the ball. Center bounce. Tap down is in his possession. Cochin drives it out of the pack. Ball hits the deck. McMillan picks up the loose ball. Goes by hand. Fighting hard was Heaney. That's a well executed kick for a goal. Yes, hello. Gets a reward for his efforts. Western Bulldogs with their first of the match. That's a really good team goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. About to resume play. Darcy guides it down. Quick handball, quickly onto the boot. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Martin gets the loose ball. Cox getting a chance for a break. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Thank you, Ohio. The umpire will ball it up. Darcy won the hit out. Scoops up the ball. Keneliak will be the recipient of the free. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Can he put it through? Drop part sales between the big sticks. That's the first goal of the day for Cornelio. His teammates rush over. Port Adelaide with a marginal lead. 
The umpire's set to bounce to restart the game. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Gets a quick kick away. Hipwood wins the ball in the air. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one, Western Bulldog. Fans getting excited about that one. Hipwood enjoying that goal. The scores are all tied up. Cox thumps it forward. Pendlebury just gets it onto the boot. A strong pack mark. Viney decides to go for home. Can't take the mark. Matheson won himself for free. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. 25 metres out. Move it on. Can he put it through? That kick was pure. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? He acknowledges the crowd. The lead is now six. We're back in the middle to resume play. Cox farmed it down. Pendlebury has put it on the boot. Scoops it up. Picked off by Taylor. Ryan unable to apply the tackle. The ball spills to McCartan. His first possession. The tackle over the shoulder. Dawg uses it by foot. Robertson has it. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes the mark all by himself. Goes by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Martin going for number one. Port Adelaide. Are happy about that one. He loved that one. Port Adelaide have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Port Adelaide have a two-goal margin at the moment. One it down. He's got the footy in his hands. Makes it somebody else's problem. And now Houston wins possession. Somehow got the ball out. Brings it out of the pack. Fumbles the ball. Finds the loose ball. Found a way to keep balance. Gets it away under pressure. Just goes bang. Gathered by Taylor. Rushes with the kick. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Gains some territory. Slams it onto the boot. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Port Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. A great defensive effort. Doherty with a penetrating handball. Off hands from Robertson. Handball's under pressure. Weller collects the loose ball. McCartan couldn't complete the tackle. A good mark under the circumstances. Spears the ball. Higgins kicks hurriedly. Mark by Doherty. Looks up with a kick. Hoskin Elliott gets in the way. Keeps it moving. Has it now. Put the kick wide and it behind. Western Bulldog behind by 11. Frawley looking to bring it back into play. Higgins runs after the ball. Door dishes it off. What a goal by Handy. Excited about that one. Western Bulldog behind by five. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Guided down nicely by Cox. Paul creates all sorts of problems for his opponent. Fantastic pressure there. Daw collects it. Wants to keep it moving. Heaney just threw it. Uses it now. A solid mark for Pendlebury. Tips it towards half forward. O'Brien applies a bump. Robertson sees off Machi. To stop as we go into the break, the scores are Port Adelaide 24, the Bulldogs 19. Port Adelaide deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. 
plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Port Adelaide could have had less of the ball, but they still find themselves in front. It's clear that they're using it better, and that's why they lead. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back with another centre bounce. Thrashes it. Cornelia onto the ball. Getting in the way with Sinclair. Rosie slams it towards goal. Oh, what about that? That was really special. He puts through his first goal. Smiles all round. Western Bulldogs have kicked the last two goals. They've hit the front. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. We resume hostilities. Punched away. He's got the football now. Dangerfield wins it back. Doing well was Phillips. Collected by Higgins. Gets a hand in. Gets the handball away. McLean won himself a free. Got boot to ball. Terrific mark there. A chance to gather the ball. A chance for Hoskin Elliott. They can create from this. Charges with intent. Gets a touch to the ball. Ball collected. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Lloyd with a low spearing kick. With it with an easy mark. Looks up with the kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Stabs at the kick. The contest, no match for him. That's true, Rado. Moves the ball by foot. Takes a nice mark. Chose to kick it. Gibbs puts it on the boot. Takes an uncontested mark. Hannon lines up from long range. He goes it alive. First on the board. He's enjoying that goal. Umpire ready to resume play. Clears the contest. Is in his possession. Takes possession. Just gets it onto the boot. Lost concentration for a moment. Sweeping handball. Missed the target. Well collected. Froling spills it. Gathers it now. Knew what was coming. He has the ball. Barris, hurry kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Gibbs, one out in the square. Ends up turning this ball over. Goes by foot. Nice mark under pressure. Western Bulldogs have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Wins the race to the ball. Greenwood kicks in heavy traffic. Finding the loose ball was Doherty. Now we will get a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of foot. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Goal scoring opportunity for Hannon. 50 metres out. A 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Brilliant stuff. And he puts it through. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Hannon. Western Bulldogs doing well at the moment. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score.
We're back in the middle now. Thump clear. Uses the bump. Higgins just gets it out of the boot. Thank you. Swatson. Now it's a ball up. Cox hurls it away. Well taken at ground level. Gone! What a tackle! Didn't get away from that tackle. Brilliant chase. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. The Western Bulldogs' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. O'Brien slips high and gives away the free kick. The kick from Chris. A big contested grab. Uses it across half back. Found space for an easy bar. Murphy with the intercept. It's a turnover. Up for grabs for Poskinelli. Almost cut it off. Collects the loose ball. Cox kicks out of the congestion. Makes it somebody else's problem. Mark by Guella. Goes with the kick. Mops up the loose ball. Murphy receives the ball. Ends up with Cox. He's had a stellar match. Finds this and marks well. Looks to move it by foot. Cousins takes a strong mark. Works it across the ground. Houston gets on the end of this. Western Bulldogs curl out on too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. O'Brien clears the contest. Use the hands and gives away the free. Doherty uses it by foot. Great grab. He drives it. Sicily slams it onto the boot. Uses it by foot. An easy grab for Houston. Slams it on the boot. Gets into a good position to take them. Weller kicks it. Nice hands. Western Bulldogs have the lead. You've seen a half hour, Gaz. Your thoughts? Western Bulldogs have controlled the play well and deserve this lead. At... Let's have a closer look at the stats. Port Adelaide are creating plenty of chances from turnover. They just need to generate that into more scoring opportunities to be a big chance. Thanks for that, Gaz. It's half time, and no doubt the coaches will want to have a chat to their teams about their first half performance. Second half action about to commence. The game is back underway. Darcy won the hit out. Thank you, I have it. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Hammers it. Dangerfield comes away with the ball. Higgins with a short hand pass. Has a man running for him. He's missed it. Western Bulldogs with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. Lloyd takes a strong mark. With a driving kick. Hoskin Elliott gives away a free for in the back. Sinks the slipper into it. Cochin takes it strongly. Moves it quickly. Intercepts the ball well. Kick by Lloyd. Simply outplayed his opponent. Gibbs moves it now. Clean pick up by Kendallbury. Darcy finds possession. Finds a target. Moves it by foot. 
Dangerfield quickly onto the boot. He takes the mark. Hannon goes with the kick. Hoskin Elliott looks in need of a spell. They get around him after that effort. Western Bulldogs by 20 points. He did really well there and gets the reward. That's a really good team goal. We're back in motion. Phillips with the punch. Higgins gets a quick kick away. Witherden doesn't take the mark. Going for goal number one. That looked great. What a goal. This kick puts them further into the lead. Greenwood celebrating hard. That is six in a row for Western Bulldogs. Now they lead by 26. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Center bounce. Thumps it clear. With the ball now. Lloyd missed an opportunity to mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. And now we'll have a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Rosie throws the ball away. Uses it now. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Hannon already has two goals. This for a third. Marks now and can send it back. Western Bulldogs just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Murphy leading the race to the loose ball. O'Brien can't hold on to the tackle. Moved on by McMillan. A chance to reload the attack now. Hall drives the kick. Strong mark in the contest. Puts boot to ball. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Punches it clear. The ball in the hands of Barris. The handball hits the target. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Robertson spears the ball. Marks all alone. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Doing well to intercept that kick. Stepped off his line. Tockety throws the ball away. Here's a chance for Sinclair. 65 metres out. Nice work from Hoskinelli. Going for goal number two. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. Nobody can hold on here. Congratulated by his teammates. Western Bulldogs have kicked seven unanswered goals. Now they lead by 32. Releases the handball. Gets the loose ball. Takes the mark. Good opportunity for Western Bulldogs to put a goal through here. Sinclair sends the ball inside 50. The ball spills from the tackle. Doherty got him high there. Sinclair with a chance to line up for goal. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. And the chance at goal is taken by the Bulldogs. Sinclair getting the crowd involved. The margin is 38. Back in the middle. Darcy won the tap. He gets his hands on the footy. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. 
stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. 50 metres from home. Goes for the goal. And it carries the line and through for a goal. Collier loves that goal. The power fighting hard, but still with work to do. About to resume hostilities. Thrashes it. Taken by Paul. Paul just threw it. Murphy elects to kick. A mark by Lloyd. Puts it on the boot. Marks in a bit of space. Jacob elects to kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Chris throws the ball away. O'Brien goes with the kick. Paul picks up the loose ball. Dug out the loose ball. With it, just manages to release the kick. Picks up the loose ball. Slick with the hands. Wellick has the ball. A skill error there. Quickly onto the boot. Good grab there from Gibbs. 50 metres out. Gibbs drives it home from a long way out. That's his first. This one gives them a bigger lead. Look at him. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are Western Bulldogs 68 to Port Adelaide 30. Western Bulldogs believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. What stands out for you, Gaz? Western Bulldogs can be very damaging if you allow them time and space. They've been able to find space way too easily today. Thanks, Gary. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Pendlebury keeps coming. They can link up now. He gains possession. Thank you. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Showing some really good pressure there. Collected by Heaney. He's got the footy in his hands. Chris blinks up with a chance to run. Doing well with the mark. Kick by Pendlebury. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Western Bulldogs haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Cornelia couldn't be happier with that goal. Going to be tough to get back in this one, but there is time. One down by Darcy. Cornelia gets the ball. Robertson will be upset with that. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Cotton wants to keep it moving by hand. Ends up turning this ball over. Open opportunity for Lloyd. He's leading the ranking points. He's on fire at the moment. Just landed in his back. The kick from Hoskin Elliott. Got hands to it. Viney wins the foot race. Picks it up. Elects to kick. He takes the mark. Archie gets it inside 50. The ball rolls across the line. Umpire tosses it in. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. 
Port Adelaide looking for some scoreboard respectability. Western Bulldogs have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Door didn't mark it. The loose ball picked up. Murphy is blowing hard after that effort. Hard clock sneak through, and only a behind. The margin a big one, but still plenty of time. Door with the mark. With a driving kick. The ball finds Greenwood. Looks to move it by foot. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hano. Matheson grabbed it clean. Gets it away. Handball finds Cousins. The loose ball scooped up. They can create from this. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Got boot to ball. Marks now and can send it back. The Bulldogs just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside here. Kolya love kicking that one. That's two in a row for Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide produced the margin. Just gave it away. Intercepted. Great tackle. Great tackling technique. They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. Slams it on the boot. Good mark there. Daw moves it now. He gives chase to the footy. Higgins gains possession. Applying the physical pressure. Wins the race to the ball. McLean dug out the loose ball. He gets above the crowd. Western Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. 50 metres out. Viney with a fairly straightforward shot for goal. He likes his chances from here. What a sensational goal. Celebrating hard. Port Adelaide now only trailed by 18. Back with another set of bounce. Thrashes it. He gains possession. Viney a bit too casual with the tackle. Higgins finds his man on the move. Goes short by hand. Darcy cuts it off. Handballs to no one in particular. Hipwood blinks up with a chance to run. That was sweet. They put through another. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. Look at them celebrate that effort. We're back in motion. Punches it clear. Has it now. Picked up by Higgins. Greenwood with the ball. Handball finds Cousins. Gives it to Hipwood. Going for goal number one. It was always pushing that post and pushing it so hard it hit it. Western Bulldogs, but 25. Frawley weighing up the options now. Needs a bit of a rest. He drives it. They chase after the loose ball. Rushes with the kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Benny chose to kick it. Sinclair takes the mark. Move it on. Going for goal number two. Doing well to intercept that kick. Well, when you look at the shots of goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. The Western Bulldogs' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Drops the ball. Cornelio puts it on the boot. Collects the loose ball. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. There's someone on the ground. I think it's Higgins. Can you tell us more, Gary? Yeah, definitely something wrong here. He's trying to get off the ground as quick as he can. Punched away. Hipwood gathers it now. The ball's knocked loose. Gets the loose ball. Able to release the kick. McMillan just put it on the boot. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Moved on by Taylor. Well picked up. Using every ounce of energy he has left.
Western Bulldogs producing a fantastic second half to win that game. What were your thoughts on the match, Cass? There are things both sides can take out of this game, but ultimately there's only one group of supporters that go home happy. Cheers, Cass. Final scores are 75 to 50. That's the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for watching.